So everyone has been asking me, Alpharet, are you going to SmashCon? Even SmashCon asks me and I told them no. Why did I turn down a free flight, you may ask? Well, so I could go as Spider-Man. And I know what you might be thinking, that's stupid. Well, first off, you're right. But mainly you have to realize that I've never been able to go to a convention as just a random person. I've always been Alpha Rad, so I thought it'd be fun to go to an event as, well, a random person. And if you don't know, SmashCon is an event held about 30 minutes away from Washington, D.C. And just as a reminder for those who are too scared to ask, it's right here. What's fun about this event is they have brackets for all five games, from 64 to Melee to Brawl and even Smash 4. Yeah, even Smash 4. So my friend Locus and I bought two Spider-Man suits off Amazon and we were ready to go. And hand out copies of Spider-Man 2 on DVD. What I had the most fun doing was simply just walking around and just getting to play games and explore the event. I went to Walmart to get some supplies and they all wanted to take pictures with Spider-Man. It was weird. And then I ordered a six inch meatball marinara and they said, hey Spidey, it's all in the house. And I thought, Damn, Alpharad wouldn't have gotten a free sub. <laughs> I had a lot of fun revealing myself to my close friends as well as just kind of harassing them in a friendly way, you know? I continuously went up to people and tried to take very awful low angle selfies with them because for some reason all smashers do that, come on, be better. For example, I'd go up to my friend Esam and tell him that he's my second favorite Pikachu player, which that's just condescending for no reason. We even got a picture with Dark Wizzy and we specifically cropped him out of it as we took it. And we created similar things with DeBuzz and MVD, and we like to get up close and personal with Cosmos. Made sure to get a picture with the French hero main and streamer extraordinaire, Mr. Tony. Like really, this is the most entertaining personality in Smash. Y'all are sleeping. Imagine losing to Ganondorf. <laughs> Raise your hand if you've lost to Ganondorf. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are terrible. But we need you here. Thank you for coming to Super Smash Con. Thank you. Dude. You're the lifeblood of this community, whatever. I don't. You would think that some people would recognize me by my voice when I asked them to take a picture, but no, they didn't. Unfortunately, some did, and one of them decided to tweet it out. Hmm, who could this be? Which honestly sparked so much controversy, and someone figured it out. Damn it. Anyways, I had a lot of fun keeping my identity hidden, but I did not plan on doing this the entire week, and I wanted to meet fans, but I wanted a little time to myself, but I wanted to meet fans. So then on Saturday night, the Smashies happened. And if you don't know, this is an award show that highlights competitive Smash throughout the past year. They even have a category called Best Pop-Off. And don't get me wrong, Mars had a phenomenal pop-off right here. The pop-off that was selected to win was Wizzy's. I think Mars was a little bit better, but Wizzy's was raw. Sadly, he wasn't there to accept his award though, so they asked me in my Spider-Man suit if I want to go up real quick. So as I was preparing to do a reveal, and a little salty because they didn't even nominate my pop-off. You want to see my pop-off real quick? Hold up. Don't do anything? Okay, well, good night, sir. Okay, so first it's oh worth noting that we infinited them and the entire crowd behind us cheered. But that was only game two. We were losing at this point. And then we just kept jumping into their F smashes and we really lost that game. Well, because it'd be funnier too. We were all playing bad, you know how it feels. But since Joe and I are literally drowning in irony, we thought it'd be hilarious to pop off even if we lost. And the winner of the best pop off goes to Wizro! But after the winner was selected, Spider-Man had a few choice words to say. I'm pissed. <laughs> Let me tell you why. I, hi everyone, my name's Alpha Rad. <laughs> I entered doubles at low tier city and we infinited someone in front of all of his friends and family. And we popped off like our lives depended on it. We don't even get a nomination! I'd like to interrupt this monologue real quick and say I had 60 seconds to prepare for this. I was terrified on stage right here. They literally just said, Hey Alpha, you wanna accept this award? And I said, sure. And then I started panicking. I'm in shame! I come in a mask! What is this? Another fun fact. Thanks to all of you lovely people, I have earned nearly 1.7 million subscribers. You know who holds a world record f in Guinness Book of World Records for largest Smash channel? Yeah, that's a category. Zero! Yeah! I get no love. I do what I can. I've never won a Smashy. 
I've tried so hard. I'm donating so much money to charity this year. Any suggestions? You? Do you want $10,000? Is there a smashy for that? No! There's not! Gimmer told me we only give smashies to people who won the set they popped off on, but that's not in the rules! I checked! I read it twice, Gimmer! Don't give me that look! Anyways, um, I'm accepting the smashy on Wizard of the Half. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. this train of thought real quick i think something worth noting is that the smashies did hold a tribute to the fallen etika and this morning isn't one of tears of sadness or reflection or anything like that i think what we need to do is look back at the joy that this next uh, young man gave us ladies and gentlemen for best reaction etika sadness it's not all And now that he's signed off, unfortunately, forever, that's, you know, that's one thing that we should always keep in mind. To always have a damn good one, no matter what. One, two, three. Joy-Con boys! Thank you guys, love you all. I never made a formal statement in any of my videos because, well, we have a lot of mutual fans and I'd rather make you guys laugh than remember, well, the hardships of reality. Enough time has passed where I can at least vocalize how damn weird it is that he's gone. Without spending too long on this, I really think it's safe to say it's still genuinely hard to believe that he's not here and we just have to accept there'll never be someone like him. And that's just a fact. I remember my first SmashCon, that same man brought out a shot glass of Fireball and made me drink it. SmashCon 2015. I think it was, six, was it 15 or 16? I think it was 16. I caught that nigga off his ass. I was like, Alperat, hit me with a shot real quick. Let's take a shot. He was like, this nigga Alperat, I'll never forget. He was like, no, nah, dude, I don't I don't like Fireball. You have anything else? And I was like, Alpha, this is the only thing we got. You and I are together, we're here. Nigga, we have to. And he was like, all right, man, pour it up. We were in the middle of the con. I poured that boy Alperat a drink. He said, okay, here we go. Let it go. <laughs> I caught that nigga with that drink. He said, mm. <laughs> Oh, man. That was some funny ass shit, man. So before I get into tears, let's just go back to the story, yeah? And then the next day, I went by my good friend Little Z's place, and we recorded two videos. One for my channel, one for his. Those are coming soon, don't worry. I also recorded one with Danish for his channel. So go hit those two good lads up. But it was just so nice seeing all the fans, all my friends, and all the fellow Smash YouTubers. I'm sure some of you only watch my Smash videos, but hey man, there's other great talent in the pool. So on Sunday after we finished recording, Little Z said, let's get Chick-fil-A, and I said, you can't, it's Sunday. And he said, what does that mean? So I had to be the one to educate him that the only thing they hate more than respecting gay rights is serving food on Sunday, so I then proceeded to list other places in the area. And then the question was asked, what's Hooters? So I messaged our group chat. I did not ask a question. I demanded that this is where we go. But don't get me wrong, I'm very aware of the irony that the Christian place was shut down on Sunday, so we decided to go be sinners at, well, Hooters. Walk into Hooters, because Alpha Red straight up forced us. He said he'll delete all of our channels if we don't go right now. Really don't have any exciting stories to say here. It was just fun to hang out with everybody. And we have a lot of really cute pictures that just have all the Smash YouTubers that were there. So all in all, I had a pretty fun trip. I really don't know what events I'm traveling to within the next year, but if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I will be sure to let you know. Yes, this is a shameless plug. Now go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And next year at SmashCon, I probably have to do this again. So let me know in the comments, what is my costume for next year? I got a top Spider-Man. So speaking of Spider-Man, I've lost 40 pounds since like I came last year. And the thing is, I don't think I felt it till I had this skin tight suit on and damn, that feels good. So I'm gonna encourage all of you, uh, just uh, run more, eat less. That's kind of all you gotta do. But it just felt so flattering that, well, <laughs> Other people took a notice too. Shout out to MK Lair for winning the ultimate tournament because hey, I'm always happy if Joker's winning. I feel like the other casters know this and they just wanted me to come on and give some kind of analysis. Hey. Bigger and bigger. Wait, this guy. So, wow. Hey buddy, you know, how are you going? Do you have any post set analysis? Woo! All right, okay, thank you for the thank great you. post set analysis. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> 
from Alpharet, the nah, true real, casual real. god. So with that being said, I better get a damn award next year. It is now time for us to say goodbye. <laughs>